lovely. How are you? Good. I'm Dr Nicola. Thank you for being here today. I know it's quite blowy outside, so did you get here okay? Oh, perfect. So, I believe that this is your first time here at the clinic. Okay. Have you seen a dermatologist before? Okay, so this is your first time. All right then. Can I just take your full name, please? Thank you. And can I take your date of birth? And who is your doctor? And which doctor's surgery is that? Okay. Perfect. I'm not going to be asking you too many things because I do just like to get into the examination. Alright, I think that's the most important part. Now, just by having a look at your face at the moment, I can see why you are here. Okay. By looking, I suspect that you have rosacea. All right. Is that what your doctor said? Okay. That's fine. Obviously, I have to carry out a full examination and things like that first before I can actually give an official diagnosis. Okay. So, my love. Let me just put down. How long have you had that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so quite a while then. Okay. Have you had any treatment or anything for it? Okay. Have you been applying anything at home? Just things that you've possibly googled or anything like that. Have you tried anything yourself? Yeah? And did you find that made it worse? Yeah. Okay. Do you have anything on your skin today? So that is your main concern. Is there anything else that is concerning you whilst you're here? Because I can literally do a full examination and check everything that is bothering you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Can you just confirm your age? Just checking. You tell me that you are concerned about aging. That is a natural part of life after the age of 25. Unfortunately, our skin does deteriorate and start to age. Now, some people don't mind. Other people get uncomfortable with it and they don't like it. And because you've mentioned it to me, I gather that it is quite bothering for you. Okay. You tell me that your eye area is bothering you the most. If you can just point to the exact areas that you're not liking. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, those typical areas. Yep. Do you use any skincare at all? 
Okay. Okay. And how long ago? Mm, yeah. Yeah, so because of the issues, you stop using it. All right. And what brand was that? How long had you been using it before the redness came? Okay, so quite some time before. All right, I have to check because, you know, it could well be, you know, a reaction to the products. But that would normally subside, whereas this hasn't. Okay, so there's a little bit more going on than obviously the sensitized reaction. Okay. Right. Obviously, I'm going to examine all of your face and really concentrate on the rosacea and carry out my certain exams that I need to do. Okay, certain things. I will also have a good look around your eye area and just the general health of your skin. Okay. Now, have you got any reddening or anything on your chest, on your back, or in your scalp, or anything like that? Or is it purely just on your face? Okay, that's good. Do you have any other skin disorders, psoriasis, eczema, anything like that? Have you ever had a skin cancer at all? Okay. And do you have any skin disorders in your family? Okay. No, that's fine. We don't always know, but some people do know, so it's always good to jot it down, but don't worry about it. Wonderful. So, let me just see if I have enough to do, because I will write this up in a report, okay, so I need to make sure I have all the information. touch your face a lot in those areas and have you ever tried popping some of the big lumps okay looking at you it seems to be quite advanced all right and I think that is because of how long you have left it before you've had it examined etc okay but don't worry, there are things that we can do. So please try not to stress, that doesn't help our skin at all. All right, I'm here to help you, so please, you know, just relax as much as possible. Okay, my lovely, good. Is there anything else you want to tell me before I get into the exam? Yeah? Mm. Okay. And what medication is that, please? Um, and how, when did you start that? Yeah, it wouldn't be that, but I will jot it down, okay? Thank you for letting me know. Do you have any other health issues at all? Any digestive problems or anything? Okay. That's fine. Anything else you want to tell me? Do you have any moles? Is it just the freckles that you think? Don't worry, I'll have a look at those when I look at your face, okay? Yeah. Moles are usually quite obvious, but sometimes if you've got some patches, you, you know, some people get concerned about that, especially if it's a new patch. So I will check for you, don't worry. But I should think it's normal. Right. Wonderful. 
Apparently, I'm going to now start the examination. I'm popping gloves on because I don't want anything of mine going on your skin. I literally just want your stuff on there. Okay. Something your bacteria and things like that. Does that make sense? Good. I don't always explain that very well, but I'm glad you get what I mean. So, am I alright to start the examination? And I'm okay to touch your face? Perfect. Now, I will be as gentle as possible, but some of these pus-filled pimples, it may be very tender when I touch those, okay? But I will try to be as gentle as possible. Okay, but you, you know, you may feel a little bit uncomfortable, but hopefully it won't hurt too much. Okay, good. Okay. Look very inflamed. Yeah, so sometimes, you know, people get it confused with acne, but this has a distinctive look. Are you allergic to anything? Okay. I thought you would have said anyway, but I just wanted to check. Just gently feeling the surface of your skin. And just getting an idea of how it feels. It's definitely very bumpy. very angry. The chin is nice and clear. Feels nice and smooth. Which is good. And same as your upper lip.
Yeah, rosacea is very common. It's one of the most common skin disorders, actually. Yeah. It's really, really inflamed. Does that feel really sore? It's very bright red. Don't worry, I won't squeeze. You have a few lumps and they don't appear to have any pus in them okay, so that's good. That doesn't mean that it won't develop that way. However, you do have a couple here that are quite full. And if I go like that, I can see like it wants to pop. Yeah, that's right. Is that tender? Yeah. All right, you're doing really well. And the swelling all the way around these is quite extreme. Must be quite tight. Does it feel quite tight? And yeah. Wiggle that. Yeah. It's really overflowing. Yeah, it, it could burst. You could actually knock it. It might be quite uncomfortable, but it will give you some relief. Okay. I don't suggest picking it though. Again, it's very red, inflamed, and really quite lumpy with a few pimples that are full of pus again. 
quite enlarged actually. Is that really painful? Okay. I know it's not pleasant. Yeah, if I go like that, it really kind of goes quite white, which is the pus popping to the surface. Have you ever had hives at all? Okay. Close your eyes for me. Any pain around your eye? Don't see any reddening around the eye, which is good. I will go back to the eye area, but I just want to concentrate on the rosacea first, okay? Right, I'm going to have a look at your nose. So we're all right between the brows and the fine, but we go here in the center we have like a strip that is red you've got no lumps or bulbuses or anything like that on the nose which is great you can see at the sides of your nose, you have quite a lot of blood vessels showing, okay? Which are kind of like broken capillaries. It's a very common symptom.
You haven't got any blood vessels on the cheek area, which is great. Around the nose is quite common. Do you blush quite easily? Do you go quite red? Yeah, I mean normally before all this. Okay, and what about burning easily in the sun? All right. So now you've got this, do you find that you do go quite red, that's when you flush? Yeah. Yeah, it does look like, you know, quite severe sunburn. That's what some people describe it like. But you must make sure that you do wear SPF if you are in the sun. We don't want to make it worse. Okay. Do you wax your eyebrows or pluck them or anything? Okay. Have you ever had a reaction, any scabbing or anything? Okay. Oh, your brows look fine, there's nothing in there. Yeah, I mean, looking, you do have some blackheads, comedones, all right. But, with the rosacea, it can appear like we've got blackheads when we actually haven't. It's to do with the rosacea. So really, we need to clear up that before we look at any blackhead extractions. All right. Your skin is very dehydrated. That's understandable, this condition. forehead is red in certain areas so we've got a little bit of redness here and a little bit there here in the center is quite clear when your temples are fine it's literally just like that so it kind of goes like a Y so you've got your redness it goes clear there red on the nose and then we go out, okay? No lumps, 
no bumps, no pimples or pustules or anything like that. And it isn't as inflamed on the forehead, which is typical really. Not everyone gets it on the forehead either. It's a slight bit of swelling, but nothing too extreme, which is perfect. Just tell me whereabouts is the pain? Is it literally just here or are we hurting anywhere else? Okay. Yeah, it's just a little bit sore, but it's, yeah, okay. Good, happy with that. Right, now I'm just going to have a look at the eye area. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a swab and a few samples. Okay, good. So let me have a look. Yeah, so we've got typical lines there, which are like your crow's feet. Because you are quite dehydrated as well, we can appear to have actually more fine lines than you actually have and it's all to do with the dehydration. But we definitely do have some lines. Okay, just look up for me with your eyes, thank you. Use that quite nicely. Okay, just relax. Okay. Okay. Can work with that. Okay, and you were just a little bit concerned about some of the freckles, weren't we? So I did notice one here near your temple. I'm just feeling that. Just looking at the shape. It's not too big. Yeah, that's nothing to worry about. It's just like a freckle and sometimes we get a little bit too much melanin in certain areas and then we kind of get those patches, but it's not a mole, it's a typical patch. It's probably a little bit bigger than your typical freckles, but it's nothing to be concerned about. And the other one, I think it was here, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 
that's exactly the same. That's nothing to worry about. We can use some brightening products to help reduce that. Okay. Sometimes when we age as well, we are more prone to them and pigmentation and age spots and things like that. But that's nothing too much to worry about. Okay. Perfect. I'm happy with that. If you can just tilt slightly, I just want to have a look at your jawline. Have you ever had acne? Okay. At the moment, I can't see any scarring from any of this rosacea as well, which is good. Okay, please relax. I'm just going to have a little look in your eyes with my light, okay? Just looking, I can't see that they're watery, I can't see that they're dry, and I can't see any reddening. Now, do you experience any red bloodshot eyes normally? Good. And what about watery eyes? And dry eyes? Perfect, but I'm just going to check, okay? You can just look straight ahead for me. I'm going to use my light, so it will be very, very bright. Okay, ready? You look up for me. Okay, relax. Can you look to your left? And to your right. And back to normal. Thank you. Okay, just blink for me. And blink for me. And the other eye. You look up for me. Relax. Can you look to your left, please? And you're right. And back at me. Blink for me. And 
okay eyes look really good no problems there whilst I've got my light I'm just going to have a little look at the areas okay so I'm going to have a look here at this patch just to double check yep that's all good and this one and that's good too let me have a look at your nose Mm -hmm. That's good. And your cheeks. Just going to pop my magnifying glass on your face. Just give me a closer look to your skin. Excellent. Can I get you to smile for me and just hold it? Just seeing how tight your skin goes. Okay. Just scrunch your face for me and hold it. Is that quite sore? Okay. Relax. You raise your brows for me and hold. Okay, relax. Can you pop your cheeks out for me? Just puff them. Yeah, that's quite sore, isn't it? It's very tight. Okay, relax.
Okay, I'm just going to check the measurement of that pouch. That's good. Nice and even. Perfect. I'm going to take a swab make sure it's all nicely covered I'm going to apply some product to your face and I want to see if you have a reaction. Okay. some that. Okay, I'm going to leave that for a few minutes. How is your face feeling?
Still feeling okay? Good. Let's have a look. It's looking good. going to take a sample. Get nice and still for me. ones from the other side. Okay. Excellent. That can come off now. No reaction which is great just literally going to wipe where I popped the product okay leave that to dry naturally. I'm going to have a little look with my ultraviolet light, okay? Please close your eyes. Excellent, you can open your eyes. going to press this on your skin and I'm just going to see if it changes colour.
Good. Now this might sound scary, but it's not. I just need to scrape away some of your dead skin cells, okay? And just collect it in a pot. Okay, I will be as gentle as possible. Keep nice and still for me. All right, good. Feeling okay? I'm going to use a special tool just to have a really look deep in those postures. Okay, get nice and still for me. I'm going to press. may feel uncomfortable, okay, but please just relax. Just going to squeeze slightly, prod. All right, deep breaths, you'll be fine. Great. quite extreme, especially this one here. Okay, I'm just going to pop this special product just on the lumpy bit.
excellent. Brilliant, you're feeling all right. Okay, perfect. I'm not gonna take a sample of the pustules today. They are looking a little bit too inflamed. It could quite easily pop. And I think you're just a little bit tender at the moment. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Examination complete. You feeling all right? Good. So now let me get my notes. So you definitely have rosacea. Let's say certain areas it's quite advanced hence the blood vessels and hence the few pustules okay so I need to start you on some medication for that okay I'm going to prescribe you some oral medication and some topical as well and some anti-inflammatories, some stronger ones than ibuprofen. Okay, so the oral tablet needs to be taken twice a day, so morning and night, okay? The topical treatment needs to be used twice a day as well, and that's morning and night, okay? All the instructions will be on the packaging, but if you're unsure, the pharmacist will be able to assist you with all that, okay? Anti-inflammatories, I need you to take every four hours, for seven days, then reduce it twice a day, and you need to take two of them, okay. So, two tablets every four hours for seven days. After seven days, we're going to drop down to just have two tablets twice a day, so space them out. Okay, so possibly morning and night again, okay and just continue that until I see you. All right, good. There is a possibility that we could do some surgical procedures down the line to help remove the blood vessels and obviously do some things with the postures so I can release the pus and things like that. All right, but I just want to get this under control a bit first and get it all reduced. Okay, now these are very strong products, okay, they may get some side effects such as dryness, peeling, flaking and things like that, okay. Again, all the side effects will be on the information, yeah, okay. So, I'm going to give you another lotion as well and this is going to be to help control the itching, stinging, okay, and the burning sensations. Now, I need you to apply that at a different time to the other lotion, okay? So, if you could apply that mid-afternoon, mid should I say. Not mid-morning, so we've got... Um, how bad is the itching and the stinging, etc.? Okay. 
let's do mid-morning and mid-afternoon. Okay. Um, so for example, you could pop the first product on about nine o'clock and then we could say about 11 o'clock we pop this product on and then we could say about two o'clock that we pop that product on and then before you go to bed say 10 o'clock pop the other product on does that make sense to you good that's a lot to take in isn't it but don't worry it will be written down okay so I need you to wear an SPF if you're out in the sun, okay? Try to avoid extreme weather, so hot and cold, and if you do, try to protect your face, okay, with a scarf or something like that. Try to reduce any alcohol that you may be having, okay? And try to avoid too much heavy exercise, okay? So smaller amounts of exercise, please, okay? And please be careful with hot beverages. You want to try and reduce those. And if you're having a shower or a bath, please make the water a lot cooler. Okay. Yeah, just whilst we get all this under control. Okay. You can also take some antihistamines if you would like. I think I'm going to pop you on some antihistamines, actually, just on the safe side. So that's just once a day in the morning, okay? These are a little bit stronger and slightly different ones to what you can get over the counter, okay? These are specifically for rosacea. Okay. No, so there isn't actually a cure, but we can get it under control and your symptoms may even disappear, but you could get it back again, all right? Yeah, so when we say we can't cure it, it doesn't mean that you're always going to have this flare. It can come and go. You could go years without it, you mean, do you know what I mean? But it's always going to sort of be there. Does that make sense? Good. So if you can make sure we don't peel or pick any scabs that appear because we will scar, okay? And that's the same if you do get any plaques or anything like that, please refrain from picking them and be extra careful if you are scratching. Try to avoid it. I mean, if you've got nails and things like that, we don't want to be scratching. You've got to get bacteria from under your nails, into your skin, into your follicles, pores, and obviously then we can cause more damage, breakouts and things like that, okay? Yeah, and if you're obviously itching things like that, it's going to irritate and make your skin really red again and we don't want that, okay? You may find that it may look more red before it starts to improve, okay? And it may be slightly a bit more inflamed, but the anti-inflammatory should keep that under control. All right. Excellent. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Which is your pharmacy? So what will happen is my secretary will get this sent over directly to your pharmacy, okay? I'll mark it as an urgent. So the time it is now, it won't be done to the morning, okay? But that will be as an urgent, otherwise you'll be waiting four days. And I want you to get this started ASAP. Okay, good. And I will make sure that they pop instructions, etc. and okay a note on there. Wonderful. I want to see you in six weeks. Okay, so I can see how the medication's working and things like that. And I can just have an assessment, see how we're getting on. And then I can, you know, let you go away and, you know, you can see how long you need to be on this treatment, etc. I will also have the results back from the tests that I have done. When's the last time you've had a general health check with your doctor? Okay, so quite a while ago. Okay. Right, so I'd like you to book a review. Well, an annual assessment it will probably be. So you want a full medical exam. Right. 
so that's for one of those with the doctor I'm going to write specifics down what I want them to do and that will be sent straight over to your doctor so when you've booked your appointment they'll know what I'm wanting them to do so I want your urine tested I want certain bloods done um, I want height weight things like that okay I want a full assessment done and I want that doing before I see you okay good and then maybe we can look at doing some of the surgical procedures all right does that sound okay perfect wonderful do you have any questions for me are you sure good I promise you I'm going to do everything in my power to make this better for you okay you are very very welcome my lovely now you take it easy out there because it is rather blowy yeah all right you take care now bye bye